I'm going to do a video today based on the news of Howie Meeker's passing. I'm not going to monetize this video because this to me is, is different. Uh, and we see players pass on. And of course, you know, there's the whole idea of, you know, if you're going to make a video and, uh, and this goes back years on this channel where, you know, if I make a video after somebody passes away and monetize it, it, it doesn't look good to some others understand. And so I just avoid it altogether. I'm not monetizing this. And I don't even consider this really, I don't, I don't even consider this a hockey video. I gotta be honest. This is one of those videos where before I had a channel before, well, before I had a hockey channel, uh, this is a video that would have happened before it was a hockey channel. It wouldn't have the whiteboard. It would have been just me in my apartment talking about hockey. Uh, but it's more than that. So Howie Meeker, for, for younger fans, you wouldn't know. But without Howie Meeker, you do not have hockey as we know it right now on TV. Broadcast hockey was changed by Howie Meeker. The entire way that it was presented was changed by Howie Meeker. He was one of the best teachers ever in the history of hockey. When I was a little kid and I'm, I'm watching hockey and I'm, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. Because again, you know, you're six, seven years of age watching a little game. This is before I'm a regular hockey fan. I'm not even watching Hockey Night in Canada. I remember Howie Meeker's hockey school. And that was on from 73 to 77 on CBC. And that was after Howie Meeker's Hockey Basics, which was a, a camp. He had camps for kids. He felt that at junior hockey level, they weren't teaching skills enough. And in the 70s, if you look at where hockey was, and you look at the Broad Street Bullies and some of the way that hockey's being played, he probably had a good point. And then you look at how well he taught the game, he, 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 was, he was just a legend, just an absolute legend. And his, his hockey career didn't last that long. 346 games, 83 goals, 102 assists, 185 points. I'm not gonna get into a lot of stats because it's not that important, but it is worthy of note that he did play. Cups for the Leafs in 47, 48, 49, and 51. 42 playoff games, 6 goals, 9 assists, 15 points. He wins the Calder in 1947. And so let's get into his entry on the Concise Encyclopedia of Hockey. I am alarmed. I've spent the last half hour going through my room. I am alarmed at how many books I have that are historical about the entire history of hockey that don't talk about Howie Meeker. It's criminal how many of these books that are supposedly about the great history of hockey that don't get into, I mean, they talk about Foster Hewitt, rightfully so. Foster Hewitt was fantastic, huge legend in hockey, but Howie Meeker was just bigger than life to me as a kid. Uh, many Canadians know him best as the former color commentator on CBC's Hockey Night uh, in Canada, the guy with the diagrams and motor mouth enthusiasm. But Kitchener, Ontario-born Meeker was also a Half decent right winger with the Toronto Maple Leafs helped that team win four Stanley Cups. Right there, he began his big league career with the Leafs in 46 47, scoring 27 goals, 18 assists. Uh, good enough for the Calder Trophy as best rookie. He never did that well again, but he was an integral part of those great Toronto teams. Mika retired in 53 54, took up coaching in the American League with a one year stint as the Leafs coach in 56 57. After he left Toronto, he continued coaching various teams in Newfoundland well into the 1960s, and then turned to television broadcasting. And that's the entry. That's it. That's the that's that's what I was able to find. I'm just stunned. And I know somewhere, I there, I swear, I had an entire yearbook that had a whole bunch of stuff from Howie Meeker. And I just, I, I don't know. And it's, it's bizarre because, honestly, he's a legend to me. And so while other people were really growing to love Don Cherry and everybody was, I was not really a Don Cherry. I was a Howie Meeker guy. Give me Howie Meeker with the Telestrator. And this was before we had the fancy Telestrator stuff you had now. So you had stop it right there and back it up, back it up. And that was the one that my, I remember my mother and I watching hockey together and we do a lot of back it up, back it up, back it up, even my dad. And my dad was not really known for a sense of humor but when don when 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 meeker was on we could all as a family joke around and watch him and keep your stick on the ice that was a popularized phrase through howie meeker he could he could coach the game through the television and i want i want you to think about that where you watch these guys and they might talk about a play and you might go nah, yeah i guess i see that but with meeker you could feel it he had so much enthusiasm and he had so many of these little catchphrases. Now, what I had heard was, and I was trying to find where I had seen this, but that basically he had a problem with swearing. 
So when he was going on TV, he couldn't swear. So G Willikers, golly G, uh, gosh shucks, that kind of stuff takes over. And there you go. And and speaking for me, when people say, oh, Shannon's this boy howdy a lot, that's right. And before this channel got big, I used to curse and swear quite regularly. And then I, I met somebody that doesn't swear uh, and, and married her. And then as this channel got bigger, I realized that if I cut out the foul language, it would just make it a lot easier for everybody and for families to sit and watch my videos and all that. So hi, Meeker. Decades ahead of me in this. Born nine, November 4th, 1923 and lived to be 97. So he, he had a very long life. But in that most of what he's known for is from the 70s and 80s. I'm talking to a lot of people right now who didn't see him. And so I, I, I was thinking about, like, do I put it on the board? Do I do I try to, with a black marker, try to describe what he did? I can't. I, I just can't. And he was just always so, even when he was reprimanding a player, there could be somebody made a really boneheaded move and he'd go, ah, oh, golly gee, just look at this. He has the puck right here and he just... Gosh, you know, he just, he gives it up right here. He probably shouldn't have done this. Probably not a great idea, but he did it anyways. And, uh, you know, and then it goes over here and here's, okay, now, right, right, stop it right there. Stop it right there. This, this right here is where he loses the play. And so while he's describing a defenseman completely having a breakdown, he's doing it in such a jubilant tone that you're A, seeing that the player made a mistake. B, you're not mad at the player for making a mistake. And C, you can tell that he's making it so that if the player watches this later, he can see what he did wrong and this was at a time before we had so much instant replay this was at a time well ahead of where we're at now where it's all just sort of second nature and you know we can go back and have all the replays during the game and all the telestrating during the game and he was a great teacher part of the reason i'm here part of the reason i love hockey part of the reason that i wasn't just a fan of the canucks Part of the reason that I became so enthusiastic about the game is his enthusiasm. You could not listen to Meeker and not think, man, he is so excited about this game. It's he he's really, really excited to call this right now. He's he's he was a great color color commentator. He was excellent in Hockey Night in Canada with and again, just that that infectious enthusiasm. And his love of the game came through. And it's something that sometimes this game needs. Sometimes hockey desperately needs that. In 2010, he was named to a member of the Order of Canada. I can't find that he's in the Hockey Hall of Fame. I couldn't find him in the Hall of Fame book. I don't understand. I, I've got to be honest. I don't, I, and, and there's builders. There's the builders category. I don't understand how he's not in there. The man spent 50 plus years involved with the Special Olympics. He was involved with various hockey schools. He did a lot to help kids learn the game. And for this Canadian kid growing up, I loved Howie Meeker. And, you know, uh, my, my dad was, was, was big on Don Cherry and he liked Dave Hodge as well. And, and for me, I just, I, I really liked Howie. Um, I thought, I thought Howie was great. Uh, of course, where Dave Hodge won us all over was when, I believe it was CBC that was cutting away from a hockey game uh, to go to something else. And it was in overtime. And he's like, yeah, we should stay, but we're not going to because my bosses are boneheads was basically the way Hodge. I, I'm, that's not the word he used, but he was not happy. And so Hodge won a lot of people over with that ends up on TSN. But Howie Meeker was just so happy all the time. And he, he just, he taught the game. And, you know, when I, I think about what I do through this channel and, and how big this channel is, if I can have one-tenth of, of the enthusiasm and the energy that, that Howie Meeker brought, if I can have one one-thousandth of the influence on anybody that Howie Meeker had on me, then I've done my job. And he is, he is one, of those, one of those guys that I, I would love to, to meet and and sadly that can't happen um and and really just seemed like a really nice down to earth um guy who i i think you know he's got to be up there i i think about canadian icons we talk a lot in canada about uh, uh mr dress up and rightfully so mr dress up canadian icon but for me as a little kid watching hockey and getting into hockey and learning it 
And again, this is before I was watching it anywhere, anywhere near like I do now. Basically, we had Hockey Night in Canada on Saturdays. And then from Sunday to Friday, you had Bupkis. You might have a Canucks game here and there, but you didn't get to watch anything else. So it was like Hockey Night in Canada. Here's your game. There wasn't multiple games either. It was just here's your game and we're out. And uh, Howie Meeker was what stuck with me. And uh, Peter Puck and Howie Meeker. Those were the two things that stood out to me as a hockey fan. Getting into it and learning hockey and learning the game and figuring out how this all works. Uh, that's that's where it started and stopped for me. So we, we lose a man who was really and truly great. And I, I try to think about who in hockey now could even have that kind of an influence that Meeker had. And I don't know if it's possible with the amount of uh, saturation of the market that we have, where you could have that over-the-top personality who just has that joy for the game and, and helps to explain it as well. Um, and, and again, you kind of have to have been in the league. You, you have to have played the game a lot. You, you have to know what you're doing and what you're talking about. And, and Meeker just knew it just, and he could explain it and you could watch the replay and go, yep. And the other thing was, as you're watching games after a while, you would start seeing plays and go, how he's totally going to talk about that because that defenseman blew that coverage there. And this guy gets right through here. And then sure enough, in between periods, Meeker would be up there and he'd have the marker and he'd be, you know, here's what happened here. And here's the, and you'd be like, yep, I saw that. I saw that and you start understanding as a little kid coming in that was really really important and it's something something that I think at times the game misses sometimes when you're looking at the NHL and the NHL app and all that and I'm thinking if you're a little kid watching you know and you're, you're you're trying to figure this out on your own there's there's going to be areas where Howie Meeker could have filled them in and and it just didn't necessarily happen uh after he 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 retired but what a what a great guy um honestly absolutely great guy and uh, i have heard many stories over the decades of howie meeker and you know really honestly again uh, a legend in this country in this country and same day too that um not hockey related but alex trebek passes on and that's just 2020 <sighs> has been really bad i just want to say straight out i don't think there's anything controversial in saying 2020 has kind of sucked and this is this is another one. Um, so if you're too young to have, have seen Howie Meeker, look him up on YouTube, look him up online. And honestly, um, again, if this channel can provide anywhere near, anywhere near the level of enthusiasm and information that he did, then then I'm I'm happy. And and it's it's that that level that I always look at and say I'd I'd like to be able to do that someday. But I can't. I, I didn't play in the National Hockey League. I don't have all of the information he does. And there's no way that I could do with a Telestrator what he did. He was magic with it. Um, as much as John Madden did for it in the NFL, that was Howie Meeker uh, in, in the NHL. And honestly, uh, if he was, if he had if he had been younger and if he had been doing this now, I think we would have had Meeker NHL games just like you have Madden NFL games. I think we would have had it. Um, and you might have had the option to do a replay with the Telestrator. I don't, you know, NHL, EA, if you're listening, add a Howie Meeker mode. I will totally go all over that. Uh, I would think that that you would you would be able to find from CBC sound bites from Howie Meeker. You'd be able to find stuff from Howie Meeker. Just it's it's too bad, and it's one of those things where I I do kind of feel bad for the generation that that didn't hear Howie Meeker because he was he was fantastic, just great guy. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, in the comment section below, what would be interesting to me would be your, your Howie Meeker story. Uh, if you remember Howie Meeker and you watched Howie Meeker, what, what about it was it that you liked with him? And, uh, quotes. Any Howie Meeker quotes would be fantastic, too. So, there you go. Um, no monetizing. Don't you worry. And, uh, this is, this is just more of a... <sighs> losing a Canadian legend in Howie Meeker, uh, uh, again cannot overstate what he did for hockey and for fans in general thank you guys so much for all your support in, in helping this channel grow and if if somebody told me hey you know how we watched one of your videos that'd be like like an all-time accomplishment to me that would be absolutely a fantastic accomplishment i have no way of knowing if that ever happened and uh 
you know, it's uh, he is he is on that list of of people that if you could meet somebody, who would it be? Because I get that question every now and then. Like, who would you want to meet? Yeah, Howie would have been on the list. Absolutely would have been on the list. Um, he's just anybody who can really think the game and really explain the game and really talk about hockey and just with that kind of energy, that kind of 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 exuberance, it's uh, it's refreshing. And in in this era right now, where there's a lot of it just cranky angry people a lot and sometimes it's the guys even on tv we've talked about how some of the personalities on tv are cranky all the time or just they they just don't seem like they have that joy for the game which is understandable in some cases uh meeker never seemed to lose that it was very rare that he got angry it was very rare that i i can think of where uh he he was upset with something and again if he got upset he just he, he still seemed very, very grandfatherish in the way he treated it. You know, you watch your, your grandkid screw something up. You're going to go over and go, hey. So here's what you did wrong. But he does it in such a way that, you know, he still loves you. And you always got the feeling that how he loved the game. And he loved the players that played it. And he had nothing but respect for the players, for the teams. And even though we all knew he cheered for the Leafs, we all knew he was a Maple Leafs fan. I never really got that Homer vibe from him. He didn't, even though you knew he cheered for the Leafs. You knew he did. Golly gee willikers, he loved the Leafs. But uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, um, the world lost a great man with his passing. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below regarding Howie Meeker. And if you didn't see him, again, go look up clips. Go look stuff up with him. He was delightful. Thank you guys again for all your support, and I will talk to you again soon.